Hi everybody, Mark Marinick from William Soda Binghamton. As you can see behind me, I've got the brand new 2023 Toyota Sequoia. This happens to be the limited trim. It's the first one we've gotten at the dealership and we're really excited about it. Uh, it's been many years since the Sequoia came out and they've had now finally the third redesign. The second generation uh, seemed like it was out forever. Uh, Toyota really took their time to make up this model and they really hit it out of the park. One of the, uh, the best things about it, uh, they come standard with the iForce Max motor. Uh, you'll see the badge right here. Uh, it's the same engine power plant that we have in the Tundra, um, the, like the TRD Pro Tundras. Um, they've got 437 horsepower, 583 foot-pounds of torque, standard. Uh, I, I don't know anything else in the class that will touch it with a standard engine. But best of all, it gets up to 22 miles per gallon on the highway, which is a huge, it's, a, it's almost double what the prior generation got. And it does 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds. For a vehicle this big, um, it almost keeps up with our Supra, which is, it blows my mind. Um, the, the, the second best thing about it to me, um, they've, they've come up with th several different trim levels. They've got the SR5, which you can get a TRD Sport package on. The next step up would be your Limited. Then it goes to the Platinum, then to the TRD Off-Road, then the, the penultimate Capstone, which is brand new for the Sequoia. You can see it on our Tundra as well, but they're super luxurious. They, they top out at about $82,000 MSRP. The one behind me you're looking at is right around $70,000. Uh, so you get a lot of car for the money. Um, a lot of people have been asking uh, from the Highlander's perspective for a little more space for families. Me in particular, I've got three kids. Uh, so when the five of us, my wife and I, when the kids want to get somewhere, we need a vehicle like this. We're not quite ready to get into that minivan, uh, which there's nothing wrong with minivans, but you'll see the Sequoia just offers space for everybody. But come on and follow me. Uh, I'm going to start with the back of the vehicle because this is where it really sets it apart from our other models. So with the limited and on up, you get a key that uh, smart key system and the kick sensors for the tailgate. You'll see that you put your foot there. Uh, sometimes you have bags of kids, multiple things in your hands. You can get the door open without ever uh, raising a finger. Uh, you just kick up your foot right where the sensor is and it opens up. This too, uh, you can set the height. So if you've got a garage or something you want it in not to hit, uh, you just hold the button down, it'll set the height so it only opens up so far. Uh, but beyond that, you've got the seats here for the third row, uh, which is cool. The first thing you see is a slider. So from the front or the back, you can see this handle. So on the front of the seat, when someone's sitting in there, you can adjust the seat front and back. Uh, so the, th the third row passengers have some foot room. Or if you have someone in there um, and they're getting out and you want to put some stuff in the back, you can push that forward as well. Um, so also with the third row, they're all power on the limited on up. So you've got this uh, fold down feature. Yeah, you just press the button and it automatically folds down for you. Drops the headrest and all that too. So when you're not using the third row, you're going to have some storage uh, back here. It's a little different from the prior models. The, the seats you can see are not recessed, they're set up. The hybrid battery is underneath this. So they had to put it somewhere, but they came up with a pretty cool idea to uh, accommodate people that have some storage. This is built right into here. Uh, when, when you're not using it, it's flat to the floor, but you have this uh, multi-tier deck, uh, so you can have different storage options uh, with the Sequoia, but this fits flush with the back here when the seats are folded down. So if you have objects that you need that extra space, no problem, you got it. There's also another level here and one below if you want to use it. Uh, for time's sake, I'm not gonna try all three levels, but you can see for yourself when you, you come in and check with us that that exists. But again, just to fold them back up, press the button, one touch, you don't have to hold it down, set it and forget it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the tailgate. You can do it with your foot also, but generally when you're closing, you you know have your, your hands free, but there are some buttons here too. One of the big differences that you see in the Sequoia versus the prior generations and uh, like the Forerunner, for instance, they always had the sliding glass window. Now these have the pop-up windows, uh, which you saw on prior generation Highlanders up until the new model. Uh, but you know, for those that need uh, some extra storage, you got the seats folded down, you go to the hardware store getting lumber, uh, you can have stuff stick out of here. You can also set that tear deck here. So there's a level you can have stuff underneath or have, have it concealed below that. 
But come around here, I'll show you this, the third row real quick. Uh, many vehicles uh, of this size have uh, access issues to the third row. If you look here on the Sequoia, the second row on both sides has this easy pull lever. It's the only lever here. There is no confusion on what to do when you get to it. So my first time walking to the second row, I'm like, oh, let's pull this. You'll see with zero, almost zero effort, the seat folds up. You can get in. And if you want to take a peek in there, you can see the third row is fully accessible. So there's no problem for you to get in and out. And if you see this little red uh, tag here, this is a pull handle for those that uh, are in the third row and want to get out. If they need to get out without assistance, you just pull this and the seat folds up just like you saw and you get out. But it snaps back in place. This is also used to recline the seat. So if you, if you want to have more comfort, uh, you can do that. But peeking through here, you can see the, the optional panoramic roof on the limited trim. Uh, it is optional, uh, but they're not building too many without it right now. Uh, so, but if you want the SR5, you can get it moonroof or you can get no moonroof. On the, the limited, it's standard with a moonroof, optional panoramic roof, and everything on up is standard panoramic roof, um, which you see there. And when uh, Highlanders, Siennas, and such, we have these sun visors. Uh, you've got them, they clip up here. There's also sun visors for the third row that are standard on all the trims. Another thing that's standard are the running boards. Uh, obviously a big vehicle like this, you probably plan on having kids in it, maybe not, uh, but it just makes it easier to get in uh, into the vehicle. And then lastly, you have the, uh, the driver's seat, you know, the most important seat of them all. This is the most comfortable seat I've ever sat in for a Toyota, uh, similar to the ones in the Tundra. Uh, they're they're uh, eight-way power uh, or driver and passenger as well as all the options here, we've got this car has the level set headlights, heated steering wheel. Also, there's an outlet in the back you can control from here. Uh, from that, uh, there's so many things you can do. Uh, obviously, the tele telescoping wheel and the brand new 14 inch display screen, which when it's powered on, it is amazing. Uh, you can get a really good view of the GPS when you're driving um, and something you really want to come in and experience for yourself. But it, that's a, just a little quick walk around on the Sequoia. Um, again, it's fully redesigned. I've got so many orders that it's right now I can't keep up with them on these, uh, which is great and, you know, not great at the same time, but hopefully we'll be able to fulfill everybody's needs. Uh, if you find this is the vehicle for you, come check us out at williamshoodofbinghamton.com. Come see us at 393 Court Street, Binghamton, or give us a call at 607-724-1334, and we hope to see you soon.